everyone, it's Lexi. So it's been a while since I've done a tag video. I've never really been tagged for anything, but I decided to do this tag anyways. And because it is close to Christmas, I decided to do a Christmas theme tag. So this one is called the Joy of Christmas book tag and the original video I'll have linked below as well and it's by Sam's Nonsense is the YouTuber if you want to go check out the original video everything will be linked down below and the questions and all that so without further ado let's get started the first question is anticipation the Christmas excitement is real what book release or releases are you most anticipating um, I can't really think of any in the new year specifically I don't think I have any book to come to mind but I know Tess Gerritsen has a new Resilient Isles See, um, book coming out in the new year so I haven't heard anything on a release date yet but I'm really excited. The Zolan Isles series is one of my favorite series and I'm really excited to kind of get like a new <laughs> Brazilian Isles series. So yeah, this is probably, I don't know when it's coming out. I know it's coming out in the new year, but I just don't know when, but I'm really excited for this one. So number two is Christmas Song and Carols. What book or author can you not help but sing in praises? Again, um, I have a few here. I will have to say Kristen Hanna. I've read many of her books and I've enjoyed all of them. Obviously, J.K. Rowling. I really, of course, I love the Harry Potter series, but I love her Robert Galbraith books as well, which she writes under a pseudonym. I like the last book left on a cliffhanger and I need the new one to come out immediately. I still don't know when it's going to come out. It hasn't been announced yet, but oh my goodness, that one was really good. And then also probably Tess Gerritsen as well. I re like there's so many things that I've loved about her. She's probably one of my favorite authors actually now that I think about it. So maybe more than JK Rowling, which is kind of hard to beat, I guess. <laughs> so number three is Gingerbread Houses. What book or series has wonderful world building? So for this one, I think I would have to go with The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. This is the third installment of the Queen of the Tearling trilogy, so it's the last book. And she, um, there's been a lot of world building because there's a lot of time traveling, so there's like it takes place in the future but of a regressed society that somehow came over from America to this new place and she's just built a lot of um, the world building in here is quite incredible actually especially because in the third book we do get to see kind of the enemy side and we get more perspectives of things going on and I really love this if you like political novels like put some fantasy in it and that kind of question a lot of problems with like religion and feminism then I highly recommend that you check this series out like I read 200 pages the other night just because I was like I can't put this down. So number five is Christmas Sweets. What book would you love to receive for Christmas? And I think for this one there is a book I have two to come to mind. It's I don't know what exactly called it's called but it's one of, it's like the behind the scenes for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It goes into detail about like everything. That's what I have on my list. And then also I have, I think it's called The Circle. I think it's a movie that's going to be coming out in the new year that stars Emma Watson and Tom Hanks. And it's just, I don't really know the premise of it, but I know it has something to do with um, just the internet and everything being exposed and everything being out there. So I think that one I want to see as well because I really am excited to see that movie because the trailer came out a couple days ago. Number six is Candles in the Window. What books give you that warm, fuzzy feeling? Um, I think the obvious one is Harry Potter. I'm rereading, I haven't reread them since I've read them for the first time in grade nine. So it's been a while since I've reread them. So I've we read it with the illustrated edition that came out, so I think that one always gets me like warm and fuzzy and I've forgotten a lot of things because I'm used to the, like, the movie storyline, which is a little different. And then I'm trying to think what else. Oh, also the Gallagher Girls series. This was like the equivalent of my Harry Potter because I did grow up with them um, because I started reading them when I was middle school until the last book came out when I was in my first year of university. Um, so I always get that nostalgia that a lot of people have with Harry Potter because I didn't really grow up with the book, like the books and being excited for the releases because all of them were already out when I started reading them. The number seven is Christmas Tree and Decorations. What are some of your favorite book covers? Um, like I said, I'm at uni right now, so I don't have all my books there. I really love the 
second book in the Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson, which is a beauty, or it was it, The Heart of a Trail. I really like this cover. Um, the Nightingale by Kristen Hanna is also one of my favorites. Um, those are the two that come to mind right off the top of my head. I really like the Queen of the Tearling first one as well. Um, yeah, those are the ones that come to mind. And the last question is Christmas joy. What are some of your favorite things about Christmas and or some of your favorite Christmas memories? Um, so I think for me at least because I'm originally from Canada and that's where I've lived for like half my life but we've moved to the States um, when I was younger and just kind of back and forth. So Christmas always for me was when we got to be with our family, like go home to Canada and be with everyone. So I always associate it with family time and just being with everyone and just all that and baking and tobogganing and all that stuff. So I always just associate it with family and being like home. Um, but we also do like, I get like three Christmases. So I do Christmas with my mom's side of my family, Christmas with my grandparents because that's where we stay. We do Christmas morning with them. And then we also do a American Christmas with just the five of us in our family. Um, so I don't know, I, I think my Christmases are, oops, ugh, almost sent the camera flying, but my Christmases are a little different, but I don't know, I just always associate with family and being home and just being around everyone. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're interested in doing this video, let me know and if you're going to do this tag, I will love to watch it. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys!